Today I'm going to show you how to build a personal portfolio website using Cursor AI and deploy it on GitHub pages for free. So let's directly jump into that. There are lots of portfolio template to use to build your own portfolio and the one I select is this one this repository which is already shared on the description of this video so first of all uh, I have to create a new repository on my github so that I can use that as my portfolio website one thing you have to know is your github username so for me this is take hyphen with hyphen m so I'm copying this one the URL to my github profile and clicking on new repository here and I'm naming the repository as takewithm.github.io this is the name of my repository i'm creating it as public and clicking on create repository and then i'll go to the project that i'm using as a template to create my own portfolio i'm going to code and http and copy the url to my clipboard i'm going to my directory and typing git clone and pasting the url i have copied and pressing enter and then it will copy the repository here and after that the repository will be on my disk this one so now let's delete the git folder from here and also rename the repository to the repository i have created and on this directory now let's now initialize the github repository once again going to my github repository which i have just created and i'm setting the git remote for this repository so now if i put git status I'll see that the project is ready to start working so i'm now i can start working on cursor id okay so now i'm opening my repository on cursor it is a react app so you will have node.js to work on this and run the project so first of all let's see what are the dependency we need to install and as you can see here this is the yarn project so you have to have yarn installed and uh, for node version i'm opening my terminal and as I can see here, current active Node.js version is 18. So it is better to have Node.js version 18 to work with this project. I already have Yarn installed. So let's go back to cursor and open my terminal and type Yarn install and it will install all the dependencies required for this project. It will take some time based on the speed of your internet. My dependency installation is done. Yarn start. It will start the project. If everything is okay, then I can see the project on my local host. The project is being built and it is starting on my browser. Yeah, now the project is running on my local host. So everything is ready. Now let's start cursoring. I can just type Ctrl plus L to start chatting and I can go to Composer. Composer is better than chat. And here I can add at the rate code base. So the full code base is in the context. Ask for give me the basic overview of this project. And since the context is full code base, it is reading all the file and giving me an overview. It is using Cloud Sonnet 3.5. It is saying the site can be easily customized by modifying the content underscore option dot js so this is the file this project is well structured so only changing this file we can make our own portfolio so let's start doing that okay so i'm i'm providing all my information i have a resume a doc file i'll copy the text from the doc and paste it here to say and ask cursor to use those information to replace the existing template information and based on the cv information any additional data that is required here should be generated so for that i'm saying pressing ctrl a and ctrl c then going to cursor ai and pasting it here and pressing enter since i'm in composer composer can automatically make changes to file i i'll just have to accept it okay so i'm pressing enter and let's see what happens cursor made changes to the places where the changes is required i'll just have to accept it and since my project was already running let's go to browser and as we can see the project is automatically refreshed the website is looking great if i click on this it is going to my github because the link was in my resume if i click on linkedin icon it is redirecting to my linkedin
page and let's see if the theme works yeah the theme works fine the portfolio name is looking great so if i go to the menu this is the home page in the portfolio page things needs to be changed because there is this is some static website which i'll i'll be changing in a minute in the about page it have already updated based on my resume so i'm a senior software engineer with extensive experience in designing and implementing enterprise scale application which is correct and based on my resume it have added my work timeline my experience working in different Bangladeshi companies my skills uh, i don't know how it calculated the percentage but seems fair and also about my services so you can make changes wherever you want the file is this one this content underscore option dot js okay so the basic changes done by cursor ai using cloud sonnet 3.5 looks amazing now let's go to contact page and here it is showing my uh, personal email and phone number and let's see if it works uh, it should not work because the email js is not configured so one important thing about github pages where this project will be deployed is you cannot make a rest request to a service from your application because the deployment is free and it is for only for portfolio or static web page purpose so what email js does is it sends the email from the client side and it gives some I want a request for free so to make this work we have to configure email js okay so the main thing we need to work on is about the portfolio page and the contact page and then we are ready to deploy so uh, let's first go to the portfolio page and in the implementation of this uh, portfolio page which is under component pages portfolio index so it is basically some static images which is used as a dummy data to show so based on your information your achievement you can update this so for this demonstration purpose i'll use my youtube channel's video in this page okay so i'm using this video to have on my portfolio page and i'm copying the embedded code and going to cursor ai once again and saying that in the portfolio page i want to have the following two videos the iframes from the videos are given below so I'm pasting the iframe copied from YouTube for the first video and also about the second video and in my composer I'm asking to change it so let's see what it does so it added the uh, iframe of the video but did not delete the existing existing thing that it generated so i'm removing that so now if i go to so now let's accept it and once again go to browser and see how it changed and on my portfolio page currently it is showing the videos which is great i can play my videos on my my visit viewers can watch my video on my portfolio page so the portfolio page design is done now let's go to a contact page here we have to configure the email js thing so that anyone who provide their name email and message and click on send i receive the information on my mailbox and that is also for free so for that i have to go to this content underscore option page once again and i have to provide some information here contact config here i have to provide three information the first one is your service id second one is template id and third one is use your user id for that i have to go to email js website i have already logged in with my email and what you have to do is you have to create a new service here based on your preferred email service i'm clicking on gmail and copying this service id and clicking on create service and the account is connected clicking on create service so service id need to be pasted and here on service id and now let's uh, copy the template id so in the email templates page you have to create a new template click on new template and this will be the template by which you will receive the message in your email so hello to name from name and message three variable here keeping everything as it is and clicking on save going to setting and copying the template id i have already i already had a template id you can create a new template and copy the template id and paste it here and paste the template id the last one is your user id 
the user id will be your public key and let's let's put the user id as the public key as user id okay so let's uh, save the file and go to my contact page once again refresh the page and give some information click on send success thank you for your message so it is now succeeded and if i go to my personal inbox i have received a new email which is the message i have typed it is saying that hello you have got a new message from this email which was typed while sending the message right like this let's change this change this photo which is on the left side of this page you can add whatever image you want it should be 2 is to 3 or 3 is to 4 aspect ratio for that i want to have a photo of my desk on the left side and going to repository source assets images deleting the existing two and pasting it here the name of my image is mydesk.jpg so i can ask cursor to use mydesk.jpg or i can just go to image uh, url under the intro data and i can type requires asset.image.mydesk.jpg so i have saved it and going to browser once again and boom here it is my personal portfolio website built with cursor ai you can also customize it as you want based on your information i have just used cursor ai and my resume to develop it now it is time to deploy it on github for free so for that i have to push my code to github opening my git bash everything is fine i'm on master branch so let's push the code first git add dot adding everything git commit um, the changes i have made in this so i'm pushing the repository now to master branch so that the code is on github so the code is now pushed on github so what i i will do now will will check out to a different branch git check out hyphen b means new branch is prod hyphen build okay so i'm on a new branch called prod build because if i want to deploy the repository on github in a standard cicd environment it has to be built with node.js so the node.js has to be there but since github pages is free it only requires us to push the production build type yarn build to build the project for production environment and the production build is done and that is present on build page i can now delete everything except the build folder and git folder okay so i'm excluding git and build and deleting everything now everything from this build folder which need to be pasted on the root folder of the project so now if i if i type git status i can see that lots of files are deleted and only few files are there no worries because we have code on our master branch so now i'm pushing this production build to this branch prod build git add dot git commit hyphen m and i'm pushing it on my remote branch so now my prod build is pushed on my github repository so now let's go to github and this is the repository where we were working so as you can see we have two branch here one is master and the one is prod build so what we have to do now is we have to go to settings and click on pages and click on deploy from a branch which is already selected and then go to name of the branch which is prod build and this will be root already selected and click on save and now as you can see it is saying your github pages site is currently being built from prod build branch so if i go to my repository and prod build branch i'll see that a message pending here because it is currently being built now we can see the stepped steps for building this website it is a full ci cd pipeline which is controlled by github so you cannot do anything but if you are on GitHub, GitLab you have the control for this pipeline too so that's why I prefer GitLab for portfolio websites so now it is deployed now if I go to this URL take with m.github.io I can see the code that were developed in this tutorial and all the links are working my LinkedIn my personal GitLab portfolio the theme the portfolio which is a YouTube iframe and also my contact page. This is how you can use cursor AI and GitHub pages 
to develop your own portfolio and deploy it on github pages and share the link to someone else or even you can use this link on your resume so that people can know more about you so i hope you learned something out of this video if you have any feedback about my tutorial you can comment down below i love to read the comment and feedback from my viewers and one important request is most of my viewers are not subscribed so if you enjoyed and learned something i would highly request you to hit the like button and also take a moment to comment about the tutorial so that youtube knows this is a good content and that means a lot for me thank you once again i'll see you in the next video tutorial with some exciting project until next time happy coding